guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, you join Tom and I in Lyndhurst in the New Forest. We'll pop a map up on the screen so you guys can see whereabouts in the UK we are. But for those of you who don't know, the New Forest is one of the UK's areas of outstanding natural beauty and is well known for its wild horses. And we're hoping to see some of those later. But anyway, the property we're gonna be showing you around today is on the market for 4.75 million pounds with James Diener from Fine and Country. So we'll leave his details in the description below for you guys to check out. But here it is. It is seven bedroom, six bathroom, and it's sat on a five acre plot. It also has just over 9,300 square feet of internal space. So it is gigantic. We've got loads of cool features such as an indoor pool house and a cinema room and the gardens are phenomenal. So we can't wait to show you those, but first let's kind of start outside the front. So we've got this stone driveway leading all the way up and at the front of the property we have the wrought iron electronic gates so it's super safe and it's even got a cattle grid there so your dogs can't get out i know it is yeah but yeah we've got all this space for parking got the beautiful landscaping as you can see we really are surrounded in the trees so the house is very well hidden in addition to all this parking space you've got out here we have a three car garage that's attached to the house as well as a double car garage behind tom and even planning permission for another garage now we've got loads of access points to the garden around me loads of little paths winding off but I just want to talk about the house itself. We've got that gorgeous red brick with kind of the white garage doors and window frames. It looks stunning really, doesn't it? It does. Super mansion vibes, big pillars. <laughs> big pillars, exactly. And then we switch onto this kind of stone tiled area here before we go in. But anyway, I'm sure you're just as excited as we are to head on inside. So Tom's going to take over and show you inside. All right, everyone. So you join us inside now. Just going to take a moment to pop a quick floor plan up on the screen so you can get your bearings as we move through the property. But you join us in this huge entrance hall now. It's a really grand, very large aspect with this gallery landing here, sort of opens up the ceiling as we come inside. We've got this French polished staircase with the custom spindles. Nice. Looks really nice, doesn't it? And then these tiles are actually artisan of devices. So yeah, they're very nice. Yeah, very popular stone company. Now we're going to head through into our first room. This is kind of like a reception room, but it's also a lounge. It's a bit of an informal lounge. There's no TV, but it'd be a great area to bring your guests in as soon as you come into the property. Again, we've got the nice corner sink around all of the, yeah, the, the top of the, the ceiling. And then we've got this bar space in here as well, Jazz. If you come over here, yeah, let's actually that's... check this out because I, I love how it's raised off the ground. It's, it's pretty kind of cool, right? Opaque, so you can see the light yes. through it as well. Very official. It's not like a home bar. This is like official hotel style bar. You oh, know? yeah. Got all of these drinks, the ambient lighting here, making it look super cool. And then this is like opaque. So I don't know yeah. if you can see my hand through there, but it's sort of, oh, yeah. it's not completely see through. <laughs> that's quite cool. And we've got some seating areas here as well. Next to Jazz, we actually have a seat. So if you back up, I'm going to yeah, hop I in here because this looks that. too comfy. So we've got this as well as the big mm. L-shaped couch. Oh yeah, that looks really yeah. comfy. <laughs> that is pretty comfy. But yeah, like I say, we've got this couch here as well. We've got this fireplace here. It's actually a Chesney's fireplace. We're yes. going to see a load of these as we go through the property today. And then we've got a grand piano this side. I'll show you that. And then these really deep bay French doors that head out into the garden. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so let's go next door quick. This Chanel piece of artwork as well is very cool. It is. I do like that. But yeah, we're going to head next door. We've got the same wood flooring in this room as we had just then. But yeah. in this room, we have a very dark theme. Ooh. But this room's used, as you can see, as a snooker room. It looks so cool. Got this it? like custom snooker table. The legs look really awesome. They do. And then we've got very elegant lights above the snooker table too. Again, with the corner sink around the edges. These chairs are cool too. There's one either side of the French doors. Yeah, the velvet kind of pin cushion look. Pin We've cushion, also got yeah. two French doors out to the garden too. Yes, exactly. To like double aspects. You can go out to this sort of terrace area and then out to the garden too. We've got another fireplace here. This one with the sort of steel and black. This one's a bit more gothic in here. Yes, definitely. I like that style. It really goes with the oak flooring in here. It does, as well, right? Yeah. So we're going to head on through into the kitchen. Now, as we're in the kitchen, I think this is a good opportunity to thank the sponsor of this video, which is HelloFresh. It's a great, convenient, and easy to use meal delivery service that we've actually been using as well. You have a variety of different meals, different recipes. It's very low waste because they deliver it right to your door. Mm -hmm. It came in a, in a large 
cardboard box yes. for us <laughs> and it had all the ingredients in there we were really excited to get them unpacked and try it out very catered to your needs too yes whether you want like a, like a protein rich meal or if you're a vegan and jazz and i actually tried one out the other day <gasps> uh, we cooked chicken burger it was oh actually last gosh. night it was how amazing good. how good <laughs> yeah proper yeah. crispy nice restaurant standard i looked at the photos and thought not sure i'm going to be able to recreate this but we did but we did yeah the burger came out amazing the instructions and the recipes they're so easy to use straightforward yeah. Yeah. even for someone like me who's a bit of an amateur chef absolutely yeah no that chicken burger was unreal um so yeah if you guys want to check that out make sure to click the link in the description using the code matt and summer 50 to get 50 percent off your first order but then also 35 percent off your next three and also, there's gifts out there to be one too, so you can get, I think it's a Tony's chocolate bar, which is a pretty cool price. Yum. Yeah, nice. But yeah, so make sure you guys hit that up, but we're going to get back on with the tour now. So in this kitchen, it's actually a small bone kitchen in here. We've got all this hand-painted cabinetry. Yeah. And yeah, these look really great with this blue here. You can see it on this side with the fridge. We've got two wine fridges here as well. But the cool thing about these cabinets is actually that we have integrated pantries so it's really streamlined, very space savvy, which is yeah. good. And yeah, you don't even know they're there, but it's so much storage. And then, yeah, absolutely massive fridge this side. Oh God, yeah, it's huge, isn't it? But let's get onto this kitchen island. So it's absolutely massive, all the way from jazz to me. It's like an yeah, insane it's amount huge. of space. The granite top on it is awesome. And then, yeah, again, with the cabinet trees underneath, we've got loads of integrated appliances in here as well. It's got all the Gaggenau ovens, microwave ovens and stuff. Actually, you said earlier, yeah, yes. self-cleaning. Self-cleaning That is ovens. handy. Yeah, that's a handy little touch, isn't it? It is. And then on the island back here, we actually have this breakfast bar area. It's sort of separated by the two different materials, which yeah, is nice. it's a nice gloss, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We've got speakers in the ceiling here too. Plenty of space. Again, the same tiles from the entrance hall go all the way through here into this dining space here. Yeah. But over on this side, before we head in there, We've got cooker tap, filter tap as well, two separate sinks, and we have the Gagan out hob here as well as the extractor fan above. It's interesting that there's like an induction hob, but there's also like the gas hob there. Yeah, you've got the option, haven't you, I suppose? Yeah. yeah or you could have them all on at once, okay. cooking a mad meal. I love how on this side the granite comes all the yeah. way down to the floor. Yeah, it kind runs like over this curve. Yeah. Effect. Looks cool, doesn't it? So now we're gonna come into this dining area here. It's actually a vaulted ceiling in here. Got wow. All the exposed beams. Yeah, it's a really awesome area of this property. And this rope style light is insane. Yes. It looks like it's come off like the curtain, yeah. the curtain rails, if you know what I mean. And then also we have two separate access points out, one to the garden and then one to the pool room, which is yeah. pretty sweet. Okay, so we're gonna head on through this way. Ooh, floating glass shelf. Yeah, nice <laughs> and then we're gonna head into the cinema room. You ready, Jess? <gasps> yes, let's go. Now, it's a bit darker in here, setting the mood for this cinema vibe. But yeah, we've got this super comfy, low down, sort of beanbag style sofa here. That looks so comfy. It's perfect for this, honestly. We had um, we had David Attenborough on earlier, didn't we? Yes, Watching that was the, good. the cinema screen, and that was very cool. It strikes me as being a very soundproof room, this too. Yes. Hence all of the music equipment. We've got a drum kit in here. We've actually got, let me show you. <gasps> a lightsaber. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. That's cool, right? I'm gonna be very careful with this. Yeah. And just to point out guys, how big the projector is. Do you want some reference, some scale? Yes. That's pretty huge. Pretty huge, right? And then <laughs> we've got another one of these Chesney's fireplaces in here as well. Yeah, yeah, and all the spotlights. It's a lot dimmer in here, so this is as bright as they go, I think, because when you turn them off, it is pitch black, especially yes. with all the black walls and yeah. the blackout curtains too. Absolutely, and that's just perfect for watching your cinema screen. Okay, so let's head out here into the entrance hall, which is just behind me. And then to my right here, we actually have a study as well. But we're gonna head through to this sort of wing of the house on this side. Now we have a powder room here, so downstairs toilet to my right, which got a very unique glass sink in there, which looks really cool. Oh, yeah. Then we've got a view out to the back of that room as well. We've also got access through here in this sort of laundry room, which uh, yeah goes out to the back, which I, honestly I cannot wait to show you guys the garden. 
Oh yeah, awesome. it's going to be exciting. We have storage in here, a separate access point to oh, the yeah. property. And then through here we have a garage. At the moment, it's currently been using the storage and they've got like a gym set up in there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so that's basically us done for downstairs. We're going to head on up to the top floor of the property and Jazz is going to show you around the bedrooms. Okay, so coming on up the stairs, we've come up the main set of stairs. So we did end on the secondary stairs, but we just wanted to show you this gallery landing in some more detail. You can see the gorgeous lights from here and you can also look down to the entrance hall. We've got carpet up here, which is nice that's and it matches soft, right? the runner up the stairs. Yeah. But I'm going to take you into the principal suite. <sighs> Very nice, isn't it? Yes, so we've got the grey tones going on, massive bed in the middle. We've also got the Chesney's fireplace in here as well. Plenty of storage behind these wardrobes. And then we also have, you ready? Yeah. Ah, yes. We've got a Juliet balcony. <laughs> that overlooks the garden. Oh, yeah, you look. can actually control those blinds by a remote control, yeah. which is why it kind of automatically kept doing it then. <laughs> yeah. There's no ghosts. <laughs> no ghosts, but yeah. So we've got that nice chaise long there as well. Yeah, that, that little teddy is quite funny actually, because he looks like he might have been made out of the same thing as the rug. Oh yeah. <laughs> Over the blanket, yeah. Perfect. Texture wallpaper in here as well. Yes, and cool. we've got the TV that's coming out of the wall too. Yeah. Now, we've got a mirror here a door. Nice. So we're coming on into the ensuite now, which was actually designed by Dream Design. We've got a lot of Antonio Lupi furnishings in here too. So we've got this huge double sink area here with the mirror behind the matching wallpaper in the bath in the bedroom it looks like. Yes, just a little bit darker isn't it? Yeah. Quite well designed that, I like it. We've got the freestanding bath and this is so cool. We've got this walk-in rainfall shower and Tom I don't know if you can see but that yeah, that's shower big, head right? is ginormous. <laughs> it's a big shower head and that toilet's sort of neatly tucked through there. Yeah so you can just hide away <laughs> yeah. while mm -hmm. you're doing that. I love the dark tones in here as well but still yeah. with the white poppy. Yeah it's features. nice to have a window by your bath too so you can kind of. Yeah and because it's so private here you don't necessarily need the frosted glass either. Oh definitely not no you're literally hidden in the trees here. Literally. Right come on out guys. So I'm going to come through this way. It's worth noting that, like I said in the introduction, the property is seven bedrooms, but two of them are currently being used as his and hers walking wardrobes. So as you can tell, this is his. Yes, it's also got a, a Peloton cycling bike in the middle of it. Yes, quite handy. Yeah. And then we'll come through. We've got this kind of Jack and Jill ensuite here. And then we come straight through into yes. another bedroom. So now we're in the guest bedroom. We've got a nice leather couch. We've got the window overlooking the front of the property. We've got a dressing area here with like a matching mirror. And we pretty much have these wardrobes in like every room. It's yeah, so good. loads of room in here. Right, so. Where are you going now? I'm actually gonna go back down this okay. way and then yes. we're gonna work our way back up. So that was the principal suite. We're now coming into what looks like another guest bedroom. This one is so bright. We've got kind of the double aspect out to different parts of the garden. Nice seating area. We've got the Chesney's fireplace in here as well with the black fireplace, which is very nice. Yes. And then we've also got an ensuite through here. Okay, so now the next room, I believe, is that dressing room, right? Yes, so, so this is the hers. Cool plane too. <laughs> it's all massive. <laughs> so here we have the dressing room. It's quite big, it comes all the yeah, way along it's here. It's massive. Window out, and once again. Yes, get a bit of exercise before yeah. you get changed. It seems like exactly. a theme in the house. <laughs> and then we've even got more storage behind those doors. Right. There. So that was the room we went in second, but we're going to come across into here. And I love this bedroom. So massive, isn't it? And yes. It's really bright in here. Once again, double aspect. I'll tell you what, the double aspect is coming in clutch right now because. Yeah. The wind is just nicely coming all the way through and it's yes, made this room nice and definitely. cool because it's really hot today. It is so hot. I like this um, couch in the corner of the room with all the Harrods teddies on. Yeah, them. they've got their cool little jackets on yeah. as well. Yeah, it's a nice fresh. touch, definitely. And then once again, plenty of storage. Yeah. And here we have the ensuite with the little lights on the mirrors, which is really yeah. good, especially for a girl's bathroom and stuff like that. But come on. I'm not done yet. Yeah. So we're coming down some stairs here. Now it's worth noting that this whole entire wing now 
could essentially be kind of like a self-contained self -contained flat. flat. Yeah, so we're above the garage here, and because it's so close to the second staircase and the second front door down there, yeah. it'd be a different access yeah. point to the property so you can yeah, keep yourself nice and separate yeah if there so was some elder relatives or something living yeah in exactly or teenagers yeah. so in here we have the kind of family bathroom the bath got the square tiles on the floor and once again shower also got a nice kind of skylight above yeah. and then we've got another one of those yeah i see the skylight there yeah it just lets in so much light in now this is actually my favorite bedroom if you can guess why now then i already can and it's right there. <laughs> it's my finger. <laughs> yeah. Baby odor. Yeah. Anyways, this is a ginormous room, isn't it? So yeah. we've got the nice pitch of the roof here because we are above the garage and got even like a whole lounge. Yeah, in so you've here. got like a it's separate lovely. lounge area, your bed space, you've got an area for your desk too. Yeah, I love this like kind of crevice and it looks like they're doors, but they're actually just, um, floor to ceiling windows that yeah. look out and, you've and got yeah such it's a great view from great there view. very panoramic we have the en suite with that skylight coming in so it's really really bright and plenty of place for products yeah yeah shower sink and toilet in there yeah great room i think it's my favorite room i'm gonna and say then, hi, hi to baby Yoda quick yeah. i've been wanting to since we came <laughs> baby Yoda. Right, so we're not finished with this tour yet. We're gonna take you down and out into the pool complex and the gardens. And Tom's gonna show you those. So we'll meet you out there. Yes, guys. So we're just coming out of the access point we saw in that laundry room near the sort of annex wing. But we're gonna first head into the pool house. Now, looking forward to showing you this because it's an incredible space. But Jazz, if you follow me in here, past this palm tree, <laughs> we have this indoor heated swimming pool. The owner said he's actually switched off the heating at the moment because it's so warm. Yeah. So yeah, a dip in here would be really nice right now. It's nice and cool. And yeah, we've got sort of like this huge vaulted almost ceiling, jazz with the lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got all these exposed beams as well. But this as a pool room is crazy, right? It's massive. It is, I think it's, 13.5 meters by 6.5 yeah so it's actually ginormous and they also have kind of like an air ventilation system in here with a separate boiler so it's separate from the main house yeah it's pretty sweet and then they've got the cover on which saves loads of energy keeping all that heat in there yeah and the, all the speakers are in here too tom so yeah they carry the speakers like perfect out. party pool house got a little seating area as well yeah. and a bathroom yes exactly like a yeah. changing room yeah sort of ensuite to the swimming pool swimming pool okay so now we head back out got a variety of seating areas through this garden so you're going to see loads of those got a hot tub in here way too hot for that right now yep we're going to head through this little path there's loads of different little paths and did you just yeah. get scared by a leaf i thought it was a wasp right okay i just see you just absolutely prang out there's something in there there's something in the bush tom it's probably just a little bird or something jazz we're a horse we are in the new forest a horse after in the all. bush you mental <laughs> We have an allotment back here, so this is yeah. pretty cool. You, you are a little bit more removed from the sort of town life because we're in the middle of the sticks here, but yeah, we've got... So we've got green beans. Yeah, it's great to have your own produce, naturally grown. Some tomatoes here, look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. Wow. We've <laughs> even got cucumbers, I think. Yeah. So now, come on all the way through. Now, you might think this is the garden that we're going to show you, but it's actually not. This is just one of the areas that's yes, to the one. side of the house. We've got direct access into the woods here as well as another pond at the other side that has a cool little water feature there we've also got a dog house here oh this is where i go when i'm a bit mean to jazz <laughs> <laughs> and then we have more access points from the pool house this is where they lead yeah we've got yeah all these like rose bushes here which is a really nice area of the garden yeah the landscaping is gorgeous and just tom why we're we here yes i don't know if you guys remember we went up into the room above the garage and that was the um the window and it looks yeah. really lovely doesn't it it looks sort of study study desk space yeah yeah well it's nothing shaded through it you feel like breeze <laughs> that was nice yeah so we've got loads of like landscaped gardens and stuff but yeah. we're going to head on through here it's the one of the first seating areas we've got more tomatoes growing nice and yeah just off of the grass now we have all of this great seating areas here and behind me we have this pond 
When we first saw this, I thought it was the big pond, but it, it wasn't. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a really ornamental garden. Got this cool koi pond in here with the little fish in it. Oh yeah. It's a pretty cool spot, right? It's a very, um, I don't know, sort of like a Japanese style garden. We've got loads of Japanese maple all the way through here. Yeah. So that's a nice touch. Then more seating here. We've got a dining area outside for your alfresco dining. And then as it gets later in the evening, we've got like a little fire pit here next to these softer cushion seatings, which is great. Yeah, that's the access point from the snooker room and behind me is the access point from the conservatory. Yeah, yeah. But here's more of the garden. The garden. So Jazz, if you keep coming with me, stay, stay with me here, don't lose me. There's plenty <laughs> of garden. So this is pretty cool. Notice this when I was coming around earlier seating area in there it's nice and covered at the moment but oh, yeah. yeah it'd be nice to open all of that out and have some some drinks or some food in there maybe it's a little bit more shady now towards the evening slap bang in the center of the garden oh, yeah. we have this stag i think it's worth showing this guy yeah let's get closer he's pretty cool right he's bigger than i thought he was yeah he's a pretty big stag white right, fella <laughs> okay and then tell you what jazz we'll go this way now okay because there's loads of little paths through all of these well, all of the flowers and the flower yeah, gardens. Of flora and fauna out yes. here. Yeah, loads. And yeah, as I say, there's a bunch of paths that come through. So we'll just do one little section of it. But through here, there's absolutely tons. We were actually walking through here with a dog earlier. Yes. Monty, <laughs> Monty the puppy. Oh, it's nice and shaded now. Yes, nice. That was half of the reason why I decided to come over here because, <laughs> whoa, give us a bit of a, a rest. We might even have to speed this up. <laughs> Such a long walk through, but it's so cool. All the different types of plants, like I said before, with the Japanese maple. As we come through here, it's literally like being in a, in a um, botanical garden. Yes. So much to explore. To the very end of the garden, we actually have a well. A working well. A working well, yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, handmade with all the tiles and the brick. Yeah, and the wood. it's pretty sweet. We actually had it working earlier, which is, which is cool. I don't think I've ever actually operated a well before no. today. Back towards the, the property now. So Jazz, you follow me back out of these paths. It's like a little fern garden through here as well. Yeah, exactly. And we've also got a bunch of these sort of like oriental style statue things. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And this area of the garden is quite nicely hidden because there's a massive tree here, which sort of... Yes, yeah, so you don't know it's behind ...obscures you. it, yeah. And then as we come through from the more private and secluded area of the garden, we come back out onto this main area where we've got all this green space with the stag in the middle and we can see back to the back of the property. It looks incredible, right, Jazz? It looks insane. It looks so good. And we're properly hidden in the trees, as you can see, all around. We're in an area of outstanding natural beauty here in the New Forest. So there's tons of wilderness all around. We've got deers, wild horses as well we saw on the way. And we're also only like half an hour away from Southampton and Lymington. So if you want to head down to the seaside, that's not far away. And we're super close to London too. So yes. yeah, it's a, it's a great spot to have a home. Very convenient. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. Thanks for coming along. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn the little bell notification on so you know when we're posting. And we'll see you guys in the next tour.